Still dozens of flight cancellations and delays after that winter weather blew in. David Emilotti has been at the airport all day. He's live inside Lambert Airport right now talking to flyers, hoping to make it home before Christmas. David. Samantha, Melanie, if you thought it was a ghost town earlier when we were here for four, five, and six, it's kind of a similar scene, even maybe even worse. There's no one in line right now for the TSA check, something you don't see very often. Keep in mind, three days until the Christmas holiday. Still seeing cancellations rack up more than 100 a day. How do you like to land? She's by herself traveling and, you know, you don't have your baggage and they're telling you, oh, it's going to leave without you. And so it was really stressful. A mad scramble for Claire Potter to get her mom to St. Louis before Christmas. Mom was stranded in Denver for 18 hours. We were on the phone for like an hour and a half, just refreshing, trying to get my mom on anything. And they tried to book her back for December 25th, so they wanted her to fly home on Christmas. And we were like, no way. 30% of flights were canceled at Lambert International Airport for Thursday turning Terminal B into a ghost town. Few people getting boarding passes and walking through security, but plenty of people eyeing the arrival and departure boards. I just really want to see her most of all. And Deborah Humphrey is waiting for her daughter to arrive from Dallas. Humphrey says she doesn't mind the extra safety precautions. I'd rather wait and make sure that they get here safely, um, but just want her to get here. The same goes for Eric Mudd, looking forward to reuniting with his daughter and two grandkids who he hasn't seen in over a year. We were going to try to get out to see some of the, the, the lights they have in the various locations, but it's so cold. So we're just going to stay inside and play games and do the Christmas thing. <laughs> After waiting for hours, Claire Potter's family finally got to cheer when mom finally landed into their arms. We moved here for family, so we'll be with everybody, and so she's the missing piece. A really cool moment we witnessed earlier tonight. And we mentioned earlier in this newscast about the de-icing techniques that crews use on all the planes. I just spoke with one of the uh, officials here at Lambert. I'm told that is going to be common practice all tomorrow, and that's going to be standard practice leading up to the Christmas holiday to make sure those planes are safe to take into the air. Be sure you give yourselves extra time. Mm -hmm. Usually that standard practice is two hours. Might want to give yourself two and a half hours tomorrow, Samantha and Melanie. All right, good advice for